So today I am with Ellie and we are at Buttermilk Mountain and we are gonna be working on front side board slides. We are over at West Buttermilk right now, which is kind of the beginner park with some nice smaller boxes, which is perfect to learn new tricks on. We're gonna take a couple warm-up laps just to get the legs warmed up and get a feel of the boxes, and then we're gonna start getting into front boards. All right, so we got some warm-up laps. Next step that we're gonna try is starting 50-50s and then swiveling into a front board position just to kind of get that feeling of the body position that you need to get in that's a little wound up. Another good way to practice, aside from being on a box, is when you're riding on the snow and you see either a straight line in the snow or even a straight shadow, use that as almost like a box and try and do like a front side board slide on the snow, side slipping and using that straight line like it was a box. All right, so Ellie, what is like one or a few key things that you need to do, like getting into a front board to finish the trick? For me, the things to focus on are hopping on, getting your back shoulder forward and your back foot back. So a big twist. Big twist. And that looks like this. All right, so just like Ellie was saying, the position that you wanna be in when you're on the box in the front board is kind of this twisted back position where your back arm comes forward. You're in a little bit of a crouch. You're not standing up tall. You've got your balance because your knees are bent and you're looking forward where you're going. But the approach to get into that, some key things you want to think about is starting on your toes on the left side of the feature if you're regular and starting on the right side of the feature if you're goofy because that'll set you up on your toes to kind of hop sideways, hop perpendicular on the box and finish that front board. Now, when you're coming off the box, you're just gonna rewind that position, bring your legs back to center, shoulders come stacked, and ride away like it ain't nothing. And now that we're fully warmed up, we're ready to start throwing some front boards on the box. We have this perfect little flat box here. And if you're ever trying a new trick, the best way to get the most repetitions is by hiking a box. So that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna hike this box, get some front boards in, and check the camera to do some video review to see what we're doing wrong and kind of add on that. All right, so for those first couple that Ellie did that were like kind of front board, but not at a perpendicular, more at like 45 degrees, that's technically a front board, but for a full front board for perpendicular, what do you have to do? Twist more, twist my back foot out more and twist my chest more forward. Yeah, right? it's so close. Like it's like the beginning of it, but you like just need to rotate the shoulders a little more, keep your knees a little bent and like finish it off. You just gotta do it. You just gotta do it. Get it, Ellie. <laughs> now, if you are hiking a feature, make sure to not wear yourself out. Every, you know, five hikes or something, take a lap. So you kind of hit some other features, mix it up a little bit, and then stay in the groove.
That was sick. That was a little more. And that is how you do front boards. Ellie started the day kind of with like some 45 degree front board slides and then ended it with two back to back full on perpendicular front boards. That were money. Thanks coach. They were good. If you get to that point and you get a couple down that are really solid, just keep doing it over and over again till you're not even thinking about it and you're front boarding every feature in the park, down flat downs, up boxes, flat boxes, C boxes, S rails, you name it. Ellie's gonna be there next week. But as always, thanks for shredding with us. I hope this video helped if you are learning front boards. Stay stoked and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.